Okay, I'm back here with the Royal Enfield. And uh, since the last time we, uh, we talked, I was able to install the wheels and tires and a couple of accessories. But the main effort uh, was installing the SNS two into one exhaust. And uh, I, I started that effort with the bike up on up on the center lift. But I, I, then I realized that uh, the the lift I have was was blocking the the lower part of the pipe. So I wasn't able to get the fitment right up on the lift. So put it back down on the on the on the floor here in the garage and and uh, refit the pipe. And I have to say that the, the SNS pipe fitment, it went okay. I did it, I, I, I followed their YouTube video from SNS Cycle. And uh, I, I did, uh, you know, un, unfasten the oil cooler and to make it easier for me, I removed the horns. And uh, it was even easy, even easier for me because previously I had, I had done the uh, air injection delete. So as you can see, the, the front of the engine now is nice and clean There's, uh, without the horns. These are the O2 sensor harness and the Y harness that, that goes back to the Fuel X module. I've yet to secure these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean these up and secure them up in here. Uh, so fitting the fitting the pipe uh, up past the oil cooler and and into the ports, it wasn't that difficult. But it the fitment into the actual exhaust ports is a little weird. You know, it's just uh, normally when I'm fitting up an exhaust, it's it's very clear when the, you know when your manifold exhaust manifold is insert into the head. Um, there's no ambiguity, you know, of how that's going, but. But here it's, and I'm, I'm still not sure if I've got it correct, but it, it seems like they, they have a, um, there's a lip here behind the flange, and then, and then about, you know, inch and a half, two inches of, of material. And it, to the naked eye, it looks like, like that should, you know, that, that lip should meet the head. But it doesn't, um, and I think it's okay. I think there's, you know, the, what you can't see into the head is ha, has met the gasket, um, but it just doesn't look right. It didn't really feel. I didn't really get a good feeling that it was seated properly. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a wait and see here when, when we start it up and check for leaks. But uh, I mean, I did torque everything evenly to 20, 22 foot pounds. Is, is what they recommended. Um, and uh, if anybody's contemplating this, it is true that you can install this with the Royal Enfield case guards. However, you cannot install this if you have. Uh, the ground plate or the uh, skid plate installed. It, you will have interference with the skid plate. So I'll show you what I did to that. I, I removed the skid plate and I cut out some of the material uh, to give clearance to the to the downpipe. And, and that was not really a big deal. If, if you can see here, 
this OEM skid plate, you know, normally come across here and down. So I had to remove this material and, and recess a little bit to give it some decent amount of clearance. And then fit the skid plate back up. So that seems to have gone okay. Also, the oil cooler lines. Um, I guess depending on what model you have. I don't know if this is a 2023 thing or not, but these had a uh, plastic cover on the steel braided lines. And I thought that was a little too close to this pipe coming down, so I removed that. I, th I, th I thought it would melt. And uh, maybe that was just for manufacturing. In, in, you know, parts in transit, it was just a clear plastic shield on these lines, so I removed those. Also, uh, you know, when 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 SNS Cycle did their installation, if you noticed, they used a, uh, a motorcycle lift with a front a front wheel um, holder, so they didn't use the, the center stand. But I, I found that when I tried to do it with, on my center stand, I was getting some interference um, only, only when maneuvering it. There's no interference. I can use my center stand fine, but only when maneuvering the pipe you know, into position, I, I was getting interference from that center stand. So I did this installation with the bike on its side stand, and I didn't have that problem of the of the rear of the pipe right here you know, interfering when I was trying to maneuver the, the exhaust manifold into the ports. So that's that's fine. Everything is is fine down here. Um, it does call for reusing the OEM mounts from that you removed from the stock pipes. That's right here. So that installation is complete. After I did that and had everything down on the floor here, I installed my front fender and I used the spacers because with these taller, taller tires, you're gonna have to use these spacers to bring your fender up for clearance. And I, I removed the uh, fender extension. You know, you know, it is practical, but it's unsightly. So I removed it. And then I, I didn't use the same uh, screws and nuts, but I found these nice screws and nuts here to, to fill the holes in. So you know, it's just not not there with three holes you got. It looks a little better with those in there. And I've done that throughout the bike. Wherever wherever I had an empty boss, you know, or attachment point, I found a, a good looking hex head nut or cap nut, you know, and put that in on either side where there were empty attachment points. It just gives it a, a cleaner look. Headlight is back together with the rock guard. I like that look. And just now I, I installed the these uh, leather wraps for the grips. And I, I said in a previous previous episode that my hands are actually falling asleep because the uh, the vibration and the, and the OEM grips were so hard that my hands fell asleep. And, and also because of the, the, the diameter of the OEM grips were a little too small. But I think these um, leather wraps will, uh, will alleviate that. Uh, I also removed the ex extension of the rear tire, that was, or the rear fender. It was also unsightly, and 
I uh, reuse the attachment points here to plug the holes up, three holes in the rear fender. I configured the SNS exhaust. Uh, I, I removed the, the baffle. I'm going to listen to what it seal, sounds like and feels like without the baffle and maybe I'll put it back in, I'm not sure. So really at this point, the only thing I have left to do, I think, is reinstall the tank, clean up my oxygen sensor wiring, and reinstall my horns and seat, and then I'm going to start it up and see what we, see what we, we have here. So that's where we are. Royal Enfield in the Philippines. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks.